Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is video number 14 in my series on utilizing Blender as a video editor. Today we're going to talk about encoding. Now, if you look at the render window on the left side over here, you're going to see that we actually configured this by default to be an XVID file with MP3 audio. Now, we didn't really think about how we were going to compress this file. Instead, we kind of just used the default settings. And the default settings are not very highly compressed. So they're going to give you a very, very high quality video. But it's going to also be very large file size. And I want to be able to upload this video to YouTube or my favorite media service. And I don't want it to take two or three days because it's a gigabyte in size. So I need to be able to convert this file. How can I do that? Well. We utilize a program called FFmpeg. FFmpeg basically is the standard for converting files. There's a lot of front ends that utilize it. Now, like you heard me say front end, that's because this basically is a command line tool. And if you're really comfortable with the command line, you can download this and you can actually just type in all your conversion settings and you can output a nice file. But I like to have presets. And the only way I can really get really good presets is if I use a graphic user interface that goes on top of FFmpeg. So what can we use that's free? Well, if you're using Windows or you're using Linux, you can use a program called WinFF. If you're on Linux like I am, I can just go to my repository search and I can type in WinFF and download it, install it, and we're done. You can also download it from here. Uh, but mainly people who are using Windows are going to want to download it from here. Now, I didn't say Macintosh. Where's the Macintosh version? I don't know why WinFF doesn't have a Mac version. They don't. So we're going to need to use a different program for the Mac. We're going to use a program called the Miro Video Converter. Now, this works for Mac and Windows. So how come I just didn't just recommend this to Mac and Windows users? Well, because I tend to prefer the WinFF program. I like the presets on it better. But this one does a really great job too if you have a Mac or Windows. So you can you really can't go wrong if you use either WinFF or the Miro Video Converter if you're using Windows. But for Linux, you're gonna want to use WinFF. It's just I like the I like the presets better. So this program will give you a bunch of presets as well, but they're kind of set towards devices instead of set towards a quality settings. So you're going to have to figure out which one actually works best for you or which which uh, platform setting works best for you. Like do you want to encode it for an iPod or whatever. I haven't really used this program too much, so there may actually be some actual quality setting um, presets. Just take a look around. But these are the two solutions for reconverting your files. Now we can get files down to really small file sizes for uploading and they still maintain that HD quality that you have in the the source file, the original file. So, or at least you can't perceive the difference. So try these programs out. It's winff.org and mirovideoconverter.com and it's really straightforward. That should do it for today.